We've seen a wave of deep research agents lately, but now it's time to meet the ultimate one. Powered by Google's state-of-the-art Gemini 2.5 Pro model, this upgraded research agent takes everything to the next level. Allow me to reintroduce Google's Deep Research. Now it's smarter, sharper, and more insightful than ever before. This latest update doesn't just find information, it synthesizes it with greater depth, it delivers more insightful reports, and now adds a layer of analytical reasoning that sets it apart from other research agents. If you thought last time was impressive, you're in for a serious upgrade. The new upgraded deep research is insanely powerful where it scores an overall 69.9 percentage in terms of its success rate in overall deep research benchmarks where it is now 2xing OpenAI's deep research. Its instruction following, comprehension, completeness as well as writing quality has gotten a huge surge in performance which makes it the best research agent available today. For the people who do not know what Gemini Deep Research is, it's Google's advanced AI research agent that acts as a personal assistant to handle complex research tasks for you. It's powered by the new Gemini 2.5 Pro model, where it can now browse hundreds of websites, break it down into queries, into multi-step plans. It can reason through findings and generate detailed, insightful reports, including audio summaries. It excels at planning, searching, analyzing, and reporting, which is going to save you hours of work with quality, up-to-date results. It's built for versatility, and it's designed to be truly agentic with different systems that are capable of thoughtful execution and deep synthesis across any topic. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up to date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. Now, currently you have 20 reports that could be generated per day. You have 150 countries that can access it with 45 different languages. Just an FYI, you need to make sure that you have the pro plan for Gemini Advance, and that's how you can access the 2.5 research. You can start a free trial, which is what I did to showcase this in today's video and you can go over and select the 2.5 pro experimental and then select the deep research and now you can go ahead and generate these in-depth analysis reports you also have the ability to generate off of your phone whether that's an ios or android device so right off the bat we're going to send an in-depth prompt this is where we're asking it to analyze the recent effects of the united states tariffs policies that have been implemented in early 2025 as we all know the recent markets have been pretty trashy due to the volatility that is caused by these tariffs so i'm trying to see if it's going to be able to follow through and focus on the following aspects such as researching on the stock market reaction, the economic forecasts, sector specific impacts, international trade relations, and a bit more. And I wanted to focus on all six of these different topics. And you can see it is working on the plan and it is starting to research what sort of plan it will implement to accomplish my goal, which is the prompt that I sent in. You can have it so that it can go and then first work on the research with these different topics so we can then have it start the research by clicking on this button and it'll then execute that plan that it had created so you can see right now it is going to then work on generating this in-depth research analysis on the global economic impact of the u.s tariffs and on the right hand side you'll be able to notice the changes that are being made so what's really cool is that within the gemini app you have the canvas and you can actually see live visualization of the generations so in this case since this is a reasoning and thinking model it's going to be showcasing all the thinking steps that will take to generate this report so right now it is understanding the scenario it is also talking about its initial search focus and the next steps that it will use to verify those sources on the new tariff talk now it looks like it is focusing on selecting a couple of different websites as to how it will get its sources from so you can see there's a couple of different lists of websites and this is why i really like the deep research agent from gemini because it is something that's capable of researching over 40 plus different uh websites i'm just saying 40 because it states 40 but it could scour through multiple different sources to get the information that is necessary for this report 
and there we go it looks like it has finished generating our report and it looks like it has done a really great job in making this detailed analysis on all the key requirements i had set now if you saw from my prompt i had multiple different uh, key requirements to generate this report and it did a great job in generating all the contents also did an extra job in generating tables to reference the different changes of all the effects that have been made and it also lists all the different sources on the bottom now what i'm going to do is export this as a doc to showcase how many pages were generated from this report so for this particular uh, topic of the analysis of global economic and financial impacts report it was able to generate 32 pages which is just insane guys i it was not uh sure that a model or any sort of research agent would be capable of outputting this much content for a particular prompt that i had sent in which is just insane so this is where it gives you an overall understanding of what has happened and it is going to describe all the different effects. So let's just read something random. So let's read this section which talks about the global stock market tremors, the immediate uh, reaction in the market. We see that within the Dow Jones, we saw a huge uh, plummet in terms of 2,200 points. We also saw the S&P 500 tanking where it was down 6% on April 4th, which is true. It was down 4.4% on April 3rd, which is also true. And we can see all the different uh, analysis it made on the different types of asset classes being implemented and uh, are affected, sorry. And we can see it also talks about crypto. And this was something that I actually had taken a look at in another part of the report, which is just insane. And it was also able to make the comparison that this crash was similar to the same sort of crash that we saw when uh, we had the COVID outbreak, which is also accurate. And overall, it did a great job in accurately uh, writing all the contents for each of these sections. So it's just great to see that this is a tool that can output such quality for 32 pages now guys you also have the ability to transcribe the audio so if you click on generate audio overview this basically lets you listen through the text that was generated with this new feature and now you can take a listen to the audio that has been transcribing this text okay so today we're going to dive into something pretty big uh some pretty big changes in global trade yeah um specifically the u.s tariff policies that were rolled out earlier this year in 2025. Right. Um, and we got a really interesting analysis uh, from you know a bunch of different sources you sent over. Mm -hmm. um, and it covered like what happened, the reasoning behind bills. Uh, Saw China's go from an initial 10% to 20%. Wow. The EU had a 20% hike Canada and Mexico got hit with a 25% tariff on most goods. Now you can't tell me that's amazing. This is the capability of this new research agent. You can see it made it into a podcast, which is just insane. And this way you can get better analysis as well as easier understanding of what was generated with this audio feature. Also, just to give you some context as to showcase how powerful this new deep research agent is, if you are to take a look at the older updated model where it's powered by 2.0 flash, it doesn't generate the same amount of output, meaning in this case, this last report I generated on AGI was only 21 pages and the quality wasn't as great as the one that I got. In this case, it just generated plain text, no tables, and the sources that I use weren't as credible and it only actually used around 20. Whereas with the 2.5 deep research agent, it had done a great job and it basically generated approximately 32 pages which is insane it used multiple sources that are credible and it did a great job in terms of the quality of output this is why i definitely find this the best deep research agent and the benchmark scores actually prove that so this is why i highly recommend that you use a free trial to try this out it's not sponsored I'm not telling you this because they paid me or told me to say that. It's because of how useful this could be in many ways. So with that thought, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Got some sort of value out of it. I'll leave all these links in the description below. Make sure you subscribe to the new channel. This is where I'm constantly posting on a daily basis on different hidden tools. Make sure you subscribe to the newsletter, Patreon to join our Discord. Follow me on Twitter to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you will truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.